Hello, today I'm going to share a few tips on map. It also helps reducing the number of nodons. There are three parts in this tutorial. First, modification and division. Second, logical and or. Third, custom range randomization. Okay, let's get started. The first technique is to use map for multiplying or dividing a constant value. For example, if I want to multiply this value by 2, I can replace these two nodons with just one map. But I have to go to the setting, change the input range to be from 0 to 1, output range to be from 0 to 2. But if we want to time k instead, the output range has to be from 0 to k. Close it. What if I want to multiply a negative value instead? In this case, I want to time negative 2. I have to go to map settings. Input range is still 0 to 1, but output range is negative 2 to 0. And we have to click this reverse. So now when the input is 0, it will be mapped to 0. But if the input is 1, it will be mapped to negative 2. What if I want to times negative k? In this case, I have to change output range to be from negative k to 0. Close it. The next example is the division. For example, I want to divide this value by 2. I have to go to the map settings and change the input range to be from 0 to 2 and the output range is from 0 to 1. If you want to divide this value by k, you can simply change the input range to be from 0 to k instead. Close it. What if I want to divide by negative 2? In this case, I have to go to the map settings, change the input range to be 0 to 2, but the output range will be negative 1 to 0. Also, we have to reverse the range to make sure that when the input is 0, it will be 0 instead of negative 1. What if I want to divide by negative k? I can simply change the input range to be from 0 to k. Yes. And that's all for the multiplication and division. The second tip is on logical operation. Let's say that we have to satisfy these four conditions before we can destroy a box. Usually we will need 3 and 4, 4 conditions. And like if there are n conditions, we will need n minus 1 and, which is too much. But actually we can replace all the and nodons into just one map. We have to go to the map settings, change the input range to be from 3 to 4. Where 4 is the number of conditions and the output range is from 0 to 1. But right now when the input is 0, which means there is no satisfying condition, the output is negative 3. This is not what we want. We have to enable range restriction. So now when there are no satisfying conditions, we will get 0. And if only 3 conditions are met, we will still get 0. But when all the 4 conditions are met, we will get 1. So if there are n conditions, we will need an input range to be from n minus 1 to n. But we keep output range to be from 0 to 1 with range restriction in a bird. Close it. What about logical R? So let's say in this case, whenever one of these conditions are true, we want to increase the counter by 1 only. If we just connect all of these to the counter, what will happen is that when multiple conditions are true, right, we will increment the counter by 3 instead of 1. So we are going to connect this one to map instead. And then use the map output to increment the counter. Then I'm going to the map settings. The input range is from 0 to 1 and the output range is also from 0 to 1. The range restriction must be enabled. So that when there are two satisfying conditions, the output is still 1. Yes, close it. Yeah, and that's all for the logical operation. The third one is custom range randomization. Okay, let me talk about this random nodon first. So basically in this random nodon, we can only get the output between 1 and the specified output range. So in this case, we can only get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until 10. But we may want to get something like from 5 to 10, 
how many numbers are there from 5 to 10? There are in total 6 numbers. So here we have to set output range to be 6. Pause it. And let's say when button A is pressed, I want to random a number. And I will connect this one to this node for debugging. So now when I press A, right, I can only get number 1 to 6. Yes, but I want from 5 to 10 instead. So to get the number from 5 to 10, I need to add the value 4 here, right? But if you use a constant here, let's say if I add constant 4, The problem here is that I always get the value 4, even when I haven't randomized a number. So I'm going to delete it this and then use map instead. I connect random to map and map to number. Then I'm going to do the map settings. Input range is from 0 to 1. Output range is from 0 to 4. And then I enable range restriction. So now when the random neuron gives, 1, 2, 3, or 6. The output will only be 4. Close it. And right now we can randomize from number 5 to 10. Yes. What if I want to randomize from negative 3 to 3? I have to go to random. And from negative 3 to 3, there are 7 numbers. So output range must be 7. I'm connecting A to random for testing. Then I send the random output to number. Um, so right now we have the output from 1 to 7, but we need the output to be from negative 3 to 3. So here we need to minus 4. I'm going to connect random to map and map to number. Then I'm going to do the map settings and I change input range to be from 0 to 1 and we need negative 4. So we have to change this to negative 4 and 0. And don't forget that we need to reverse. So now when the input is 0, which means there is no randomization, the output is 0. But whenever a randomization starts, it will give negative 4. And then I also need to enable range restriction to make sure that the number does not go below negative 4. Close it. Okay, so let's test. Yeah, so now I can get a random value between negative 3 and 3. To summarize, if you want to random a number from x to y and x is greater than 1, we have to random a number from 1 to y minus x plus 1, which is the number of because there are y minus x plus 1 numbers from x to y inclusively. And for the map, the input range must be from 0 to 1 and the output range is from 0 to x minus 1 with range restriction. If x is smaller than 1, we have to change the map output range to be from x minus 1 to 0 with reverse direction. And here is a summary of what we have done today. I have shown you how to replace multiplication and division, and I have shown you the logical and or with map. Lastly, I also show you how to do custom range randomization. Yeah, and actually there are plenty more things you can do with map nodons. Feel free to share your favorite map techniques in comments. Lastly, please like, share, and subscribe. There will be more tutorials. Bye-bye and see you next time.